right well good afternoon it is the 26th of january um i'm actually going to be doing a road trip we are based around there near oswestry in shropshire uh, down there is the isle of wight enjoy the road trip <music> Great stuff. Well, we made it down to the Isle of Wight and we also made it down here onto the beach. So that's where we've came from, over there. And you can see this beautiful, beautiful cliff face on here. You can see uh, jutting out a little bit where you're heading down towards Atherfield Point. It's uh, just past this bit where the dinosaur bed starts. The reason why I wanted to come over to this bit is because there are dinosaur footprints over here. Now, there's lots of dinosaur footprints over there, and we'll try and show you some, but these are quite special. You see, the dinosaur footprints over there are what we call cast footprints. In other words, the dinosaur has stomped, a new sediment has come and filled that footprint in, and then it's eroded away so you can go and see those footprints, right? It's not where the dinosaur actually walked. These fossils, footprints right here, are exactly where the dinosaur walked. You can kind of see the three toes. We've got a toe there, there. Now, this is actually part of a trackway. So the first footprint went there. The second footprint went to where it was cut out. There's the third footprint just there. The fourth footprint has been almost completely eroded away just down there. There's the fifth one, and then it disappears for a little bit, but it shows back up where that puddle of water is over there. It's the spine of a fin of a shark. So you've got the shark's body would be down here and this would be the fin. Come down like that, sort of holds the uh, fin up in place. I'll have the muscles attached to it. So this is uh, the beginnings of Baldner Cliff. Okay, what's happened here is the sea has come up. The sea has washed out all of the fossils out of the clay. It's rolled them around a bit and it's deposited them in a lovely straight row for us. This is a nice piece of alligator scoot. Now alligators have this hard armoured scoot just underneath the skin which actually protects them. These little holes are what the skin actually attaches themselves into. You can see some of the bone structure in there, that's quite nice. There's the flat side which would be uh, facing down inside of the alligator. And you've got this wonderful fossil alligator scoot. A nice handful of different things here. Turtle shells, um, some nice shells as well that have been pyrotized, some crocodile bits, a bit of leg bone, lots and lots of different fossils from lots and lots of tropical creatures. Tropical creatures means warm. It used to be warm and now it's gotten cool and now it's warming back up again. You see that on a short term cycle, like a few hundred year cycle, and you see it on a long term cycle, just like these fossils here. And very, very beautiful crocodile tooth. Look at that. It's not every day you get to drive around with a massive ammonite next to you. Well, we've come down to the Isle of Portland, uh, where it's very, very windy, because I just wanted to stop off to show you this hotel, the Portland Heights Hotel. It's a rather spectacular fossil tree from this very same deposit here at Portland. I mean, just look at it, it's absolutely enormous. And look at some of the details on it as well. Absolutely gorgeous details. We are properly on the Jurassic Coast now. We are headed to Charmouth. We've done really well, people. We've done really well. <laughs> I haven't had this good collecting in a long while. We've got this rather very sweet, beautiful little one just here little lovely little uh, vertebrae and then we've got this rather spectacular chunk of vertebrae just here you can see that they are all still articulated I mean look at that that is just absolutely fabulous and then we end up with this right here a lovely bit of fossil wood now Fossil wood and sea creatures, you're looking at evidence of a flood. Wherever you get sea creatures and wherever you get land plants buried together, you're looking at evidence of a flood. I mean, the geology and the scenery is just amazing, so who wouldn't want to travel around and 
do some research and see the scenery and get involved. I mean, it's been exhausting, but it's been well worth it, especially with the fossils. Um, I've got a new hat, by the way. Ah, uh, look at that. Looking good.